Hi, at the end of this video, you will be able to create this focus and parallax effect in Swift UI. We will create this effect by animating the angle, the X axis and the Y axis of 3D rotation effect in Swift UI. So let's get started. The parallax effect involves animating three parameters of the 3D rotation effect. Over here, you can see I have created three states for these parameters. The angle of the 3D rotation, the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. So we have set all the initial states. At where this animation is triggered, we use the state to set the final states. So let's add the 3D rotation effect and then add the animation. From the screen, all the views are contained in this Z stack. So where it ends, we are going to add the 3D rotation effect. So after the frame modifier, let's add 3D rotation effect. We will select the one that has axis. Let's set the angle of rotation to degrees. Let's put zero for now. What we have to do next is to use the states, the angle to animate the angle of rotation, the X coordinate to animate the X value over here for the 3D rotation, and the Y coordinate to animate this one. So let's copy the first one, which is the angle, and replace this value. That gives an error. By clicking here, we can fix the error. That also gives an error. By clicking here, we have to convert this to CG float. We need to do the same for the Y coordinate. So let's copy this one and replace this value. Instead of rotate X, we will change it to rotate Y. So this is all we need to do. Over here, we have set the initial state. The angle of rotation is 12. Then we have the X coordinate of the 3D rotation initially set to 90 and the y coordinate set to minus 45 and here we have all the final states then we use the state to animate the parameters to see this animation we also need to add the animation modifier so let's add the animation modifier just above the on appear modifier for the easing function, we are going to use ease in out. Let's set the duration of this animation to 3 seconds. We also want this animation to repeat forever. So we add the repeat forever modifier. For the parameter auto reverses, we will set it to true so that we get back and forth animation. So that results in creating this smooth focus and parallax effect in Swift UI. We can also change the easing equation and use custom easing function. To use custom equation, we can use the timing curve. So we can replace this easing by putting timing curve. The website that helps you in using timing curve is called easings.net. So from this website, you can get different types of easing. Let's try this one for example, ease in out cubic. All that we need to do here is to copy the cubic Bezier value, this one, and paste in our project. 
So here I'm going to select all the parameters and paste the one we copied. You can see this moves faster, but we can reduce the speed by adding the speed modifier. Let's set the speed to 0 0.2. Let's try another one, which I prefer most. We are going to choose is in outside. So I'll copy the cubic basic value and come back to the project. So we are going to replace this. So you can try different types of easing curves from the easing.net website and choose the one that suits your need. So this is how to create this focus and parallax effect using the parameters of 3D rotation in SwiftUI.